Ah, the great outdoors. I mean, it's better than being in that dark room watching TV all day. Back in the day, we would have to go to our local blockbuster, or movie gallery, or whatever you had out there, and the worst part is that we would have to return it the next day. Who would want to do that now? But today, we have access to our entertainment through Netflix, Hulu, and other services that will allow you to watch it anytime, anywhere, on your TV, or phone, or even watch now. But sometimes, your internet can be out. You would have no access to Wi-Fi, especially if you were in another country, or the woods that I'm clearly in right now, and not in a self-contained environment. So today, let's solve one of those issues by turning our Raspberry Pi into a portable media center you can take anywhere. I don't know where I got this. I just found it on the ground out here in the great outdoors. Oh. I mean, that's the magic of movie making, you know? You can make anything realistic. To make our portable media center, we'll of course need the Raspberry Pi. Any version will do, but I have an older model to show you that the software we'll be using can work on any model that's out there. You will need an SD card to hold the media center program, and a Wi-Fi adapter to download updates, artwork, and all other add-ons. An HDMI cable to get the picture and sound on our TV, of course. A power cable that should come with the Pi a USB drive or external hard drive to hold all our movies and TV shows, and a keyboard. This is a spare Logitech one I have lying around, but you can also buy smaller ones online, like on Amazon. With our list here, let's finally get to work on making our Pi portable. First, plug in your microSD card into the computer. Then go to the website OSMC, which is the media center to watch all of our content. Download the installer here. It should take a minute or so. Once done, open the installer and answer all the questions here. Select the current version. Since we have a micro SD card, select SD card. Since we have a Wi-Fi adapter, select wireless. With wireless, select what type of security you have on your Wi-Fi. If you have network security enabled, select the type. And then type in your network name and password below, so that OSMC can easily connect once it boots up. Lastly, select your micro SD card and accept the agreement. And now let OSMC do its thing. A window will pop up. Hit yes. Now hit quit and unhook your micro SD card. Now to pick our movies and TV shows. In order to make things easier and for OSMC to recognize which video is what, I put the files in separate folders. For instance, in my TV shows I am separated into seasons and name coded as such. This makes it easier for OSMC to look up artwork and information for each episode as you select them. Same thing for movies too, but once you picked what you wanted, we can unhook our USB drive and get started on hooking everything up. Now it's time to hook up all our cables and dongles. Such a funny word. If you plan on going anywhere like a hotel or friend's house, make sure the TV has an HDMI input, as you'll need this to see the picture at all. But anyways, first let's put in our micro SD card. On older models of the Pi, you'll hear a clicking sound. Next, we'll plug in our Wi-Fi adapter, USB keyboard adapter, if you're using one, our HDMI cable to the back of the TV, and the slot in our Pi. Then our USB drive or whatever storage device you're using for our media. Once everything is hooked up, plug in the power adapter and the Raspberry Pi should turn on. Our OSMC screen should appear in a matter of seconds and will begin formatting and installing itself. Depending on the Pi version you have, it should take a couple of minutes or so to have everything set up. The older the model, the slower it might be. Once that's done, the main menu should show up. But give it a minute or two and another setup screen should appear. Select your language, time zone, name your OSMC, 
check if you are going to use SSH, which is basically using the root command of the Raspberry Pi. And continue. Leave it at OSMC and you should be all set to use. But we're not done yet. Time for everyone's favorite subject, configuring the damn thing. The first thing we're going to want to do is set up our movies and TV shows to appear in our menu. To do that, let's go to Videos, Files, our USB drive, on Movies, press C and set Content. Under this directory contains, and using these arrows, select Movies, then select OK on the bottom. Select Yes and scanning should commence. Once that's finished, do the same thing to TV shows, only instead of selecting movies, select TV shows instead. Once that's finished, go back to the menu and it should change so that you can select your movies and TV shows from that menu. But let's make it easier so that every time you turn it on, it'll automatically update. By default, our movie and TV show library doesn't update automatically whenever it's booted. So let's change that by installing our first add-on. In the main menu, go to Programs and select Get More. A list should pop up. Scroll all the way down and select XBMC Library Auto Update. Install and wait a second till the add-on is updated. Now every time you plug in your Pi, the library will update automatically with whatever you added on since the last time. Lastly, let's install our first video add-on, YouTube. Go to Videos and select Video Add-ons. Just like with programs, scroll all the way down until you see YouTube. And hit Install. And that's it, simple, huh? If you find any interesting video add-ons you like, you might as well install them on there as well. You never know what you're going to find. But with that, you finally have a portable entertainment center to take with you on the go. And not have to wait on buffering your latest episode of Night Court. Just as long as your TV has an HDMI port, you'll be all set to watch whatever you have. Thanks for watching. I'll definitely be going over more Media Center Gold in the future, so don't worry. Don't forget to subscribe for more tip videos in the future. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to watch some Partridge Family. Those kids are creepy!